Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Nutrix the Scent Guy. Today I'm going to talk about the Roland MX-1. It's a performer mixer and my goal is to answer a question that I see often on user forums and user groups for the Roland Boutiques users. The question is simple, is, is it the ultimate Roland Boutique mixer? Now, I'll show you what it is, but I want to do a quick tour because my goal is really to talk about is it the best mixer for a boutique kit. I can talk about the fact that it's really great as a performance tool. It's made to be played live. On each track, you will find a beat effect, so an effect links to tempo. There's also, for each track, the choice of a filter or EQ. And there is a global multi-effect that combines six different types of effects on tempo. So it really is a dedicated performance mixer. So on that point, it is really powerful, really interesting, really efficient. But if you look at all the different inputs, you've got input one, two, three, and four. The four first one are mono. So you can plug in mono synth or a stereo synth into two inputs and you've got up to four mono inputs. Then you've got five and six as a stereo in, and it's a one eighth of an inch. So yeah, you could plug in a Korg Volca or a boutique scent right into that input without, without any problems. Then the seven and eight is a digital in, so you need something with a digital out. So not a lot of scent have digital out, so it could be used for something else like a effect processor or another computer using an uh, interface with a digital SPDIF out could be sent to this without any loss of quality. So, okay, why not? There is then 910 as USB 1, 1112 as USB 2, 1314 as USB 3, and 1516 as USB 4. Then the last one is PC return. So this is stereo return from your computer if you want to monitor what you're playing as you play other stuff on top of that. Because one cool thing about the MX-1, it is when you connect it to your computer, it's your audio interface and your media interface on top of that. So you can have up to 18, yeah, that's it, 18 signal coming back from your computer right into this, or you can also record 18 signals in your computer using that box. So it's pretty, you know, it's a cool little studio gig for performance, and what you do on it, a lot of the controllers you do on it can be live recorded using MIDI. So you could record the performance so then the mixer can do the same thing again. So for that, it's really cool. Now for the not so cool part is the fact that there is no microphone input. So you cannot record a microphone unless you have something else. These are line in or digital in or USB in. That's it. So it's really made to be a synth mixer. The four USB in you have at the back, only one has USB powered sent to it. So I mean, if you use boutique synthesizers and you hook it up to that, only one can live off the power of the USB coming off the mixer. 
the three others will only get audio and, US, uh, audio and MIDI, but will not get USB power. So you need to power them separately. And that could be a problem because the boutiques are powered by USB or by battery. So if your USB is used for sending MIDI and audio, then you don't have any power except you're running on battery all the time. So that's kind of a let down, you know, but there's a reason why. This was released, the MX1 was released as the Era Mixer. It was part of the Era series with the TR8, the VT3, the TB3, and the other, you know, System 1 and stuff like that. So it was not made for the boutiques at all. It was there like a year and a half before the boutiques were even released. That's why these are kind of uh, little problems that can be big problems, you know. Uh, if, if you really, if you have four boutique synths and you want to plug it in, well, you need to have, either you go with USB for one, or maybe the four, but then it means that the three others need to have power over batteries, or you have one USB four coming in and the others, they go through analog inputs, which also works. I'm still expecting Roland today to come up with a Roland mixer for the boutiques dedicated for that. You know, imagine the size of a boutique synth, but with, I don't know, four inputs, USB and four analog inputs, and you would have some type of beat, you know, effects on it. And it would be a boutique dedicated mixer. A little bit like what Volca's now have, you know, Korg released a Volca mixer. Well, right now, today, if you would need a mixer for the Roland boutiques, maybe the Volca is a better one. I never tried one. So if any of you guys have a Volca mixer, if you tried it with the boutiques, tell us if it works correctly. I don't know, maybe it's a good match today for the boutiques, maybe not, but this, the MX-1, it's not the ultimate boutiques mixer for now. It is not, Be just because of the USB powered, not being powered through USB, except for only one. It's a cool mixer, but it's not the ultimate boutique mixers. That said guys, it's a quick one for today. I hope this is useful for you guys. Thumb up if you like it, suggest other things if you wanna in the comments and uh, you know, by the way, check out my music if you have any interest in what I do and uh, follow me on YouTube and Facebook. Cheers guys.